you, darling. stand, please. Is this lady in marriage today? Her family and I. You, you may be seated along with everyone else at this time. Come on up, dear. Face your gentleman and hold hands. You got to step on up closer. Come on up to me. There we go. We're gathered here today to celebrate a very special occasion. Ryan, Christina, you shall become one. God himself long ago, ordained and instituted marriage. He performed the first wedding ceremony in the Garden of Eden. Now in order to achieve success in this the highest of all human commitments, we are instructed to look to the Word of God for direction. Quoting now from the 13th chapter of 1 Corinthians, let be patient and kind. It's not jealous nor envious. It is not boastful or proud. It is not haughty or selfish or rude. It does not demand its own way. It's not irritable or touchy. It does not hold grudges and will hardly even notice when others do it wrong. Now, it's never glad about injustice, but rejoices when truth wins out. Christina? If you love Brian, you'll be loyal to him. You will always believe in him. And always expect the best of him. Brian, God says for you to love Christina as Christ loved the church and gave himself for it. Simply stated, you are her protector. God says take care of her. Now all gifts and powers from God himself will one day come to an end. But our Lord says three things will go on eternally. Faith hope and love. The greatest of the three is love. So as we stand here today, I do ask that you keep this at the very forefront of your hearts and minds. Always look to Christ for the completion of all things in your lives and the greater your love will be one for the other. Now Brian, <clears throat> in now taking Christina to be your lawful and wedded wife, before God and these witnesses present here today. You must promise to love her, to honor and to cherish her, and leaving all others, cleave only unto her, and be to her in all things the true and faithful husband. Do you so promise? I do. Now, Christina, in now taking Brian to be your lawful and wedded husband, you must promise to love him to honor and to cherish him. And leaving all others, cleave only unto him and be to him in all things the true and faithful wife. Do you so promise? I do. Then it is my joy and privilege now to state to the two of you, yes, you're given to each other. And we know that's in all situations, happiness or sorrow, in plenty or in poverty, in sickness and in health, to love and to enjoy till death shall one day separate you. Now at this time I will take the rings please. Thank you. Now from time immemorial the ring has been used to seal 
this most important of all human commitments. Now the ring's a beautiful symbol of the two of your loves in that it's an unending circle. It symbolizes the eternity of your love. The purity of the gold in the ring stands for the purity of the two of you in the sight of God. Brian, take that ring now. Place it now on Christina's left ring finger. And let her help you a little bit there. There we go. <laughs> now hold her hand lightly, just like that. Look in her eyes and repeat these words to her. With this ring, with this ring, I thee wed. With loyal love, with loyal love, I thee endow. I thee endow. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Christina, take that ring, place it now on Brian's left ring finger. Now you got the right one. <laughs> now hold his hand lightly where we can see it good. Now look in his eyes and repeat these words to him. With this ring, I thee wed. With loyal love, I thee endow. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Now, we have a very precious ceremony we want to share today. As Gomer Pye would say, surprise, surprise, <laughs> surprise. <laughs> now, first of all, I want Jason to step up here. This is your boy, right? Okay, if we can get this off here. Sir, would you step between them and face the audience? Of course, he's going to stand ahead taller than you. <laughs> step up there and turn around and face them. So I would like you to do the honors, but I want you to show the folks around, show them. Okay. This is a three-circle medallion turning around. The top two circles represents the couple today. And the third circle represents his child as being a very important part of what's happening today. So if you'll place that around him, I would be eternally grateful. Now both of you hug him. <laughs> Reach in there and both of you grab him. There we go. Hey, he's tall enough he can reach and get it done. You never say that, Jason. Now next, I want Dylan. Now Dylan's your son, right? Yes. All right, let me get my medallion straight here. Now, ma'am, I'm going to ask you to do the honors for this and place that around his neck. There we go. Now, both of you, same thing. Hug them. <laughs> Hug up on them. Let them know. Let them know. Now, you step back over there, son, and make sure I got this right. I've uh, got Jason and Dylan. Jenna, put your flowers down, baby, and come up here. Now, Jenna gets the white one today because she's a petite little lady. And, sir, I'm going to ask you to do the honors for this and place that around her neck. Yeah, there we go. Isn't this wonderful? I think it's marvelous that they do this and share this. Now, both of you, same thing, hug up on her. Now, baby, you step back over there. Now, let's see. And then uh, Jackson, step in the middle there, Jackson. And let me get right here. Now, this is your boy? Mine. Okay. And you do the honor, sir. Place that around his neck. All right, same thing. <laughs> Hug and kiss time. Well, hug time. All right, now. Uh, that was Jackson, right? This is Jackson. Okay. Now, uh, the last one, Jacob. 
Come on up here, Jacob. Turn around and face the crowd. This is your son. You do me the honor. See, by the doing of this, the two of them sharing with their children, they're saying to these children, you are a very important part of who we are today. And to me, that's a very wonderful, wonderful thing. Now hug up on him. <laughs> and his age, he's not really that young. Now come back here and face each other and hold hands. Brian, Christina, very precious things happened today. These kids have become a very important part of who the two of you are. Now at this time, I'd like to pray for you. Let's have a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, coming to you to stay on behalf of Brian and Christina, two wonderful, precious people who have come here today with family and friends, and now before you have affirmed their desire to walk as one. Now, Lord, may your grace, your mercy, and favor rest and abide upon them as they go from this place. For it's in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, we ask it all. Amen. Now, Brian, Christina, by the power and the authority vested in me as a minister of the gospel of my precious Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and by the virtue of the laws of the great state of Tennessee, it's my happy privilege to pronounce for all to hear and see that you're a husband and wife. Now, I do carefully add this one thing. What God has joined together today, we allow nothing or no one to place asunder. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine down on you. The Lord be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and grant you peace. Now, sir, you can kiss your wife. There we go. I was going to get 30 minutes quick. <laughs> now, grab your flowers. I want you to join arms. And you march down together now, okay? Now, you come up here with her. And the two of you march down. Come on up. It's, oh, well, it's too late. Go on, Michael. Go on, buddy. You're going about the fire. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, I do appreciate you being here with them today. It's been a, such a wonderful time. Everybody looking right here. Excellent. Beautiful. Good looking family. Everybody say trouble. Trouble. <laughs> Excellent. One more. One, two, three. Everybody say cheese. Cheese. Hold it. One more. One, two, three. Very nice. Okay, I'm going to get everybody inside and we're going to keep doing the shots, okay?